toilet rolls. They need somewhere to go. Let's build a tower. This is the design I came up with. It will hold a total of five rolls. So you can also see the circles in the middle. So speed holes, a bit for design. The sizing of these has been based on the size of the spade bits that I have. So we'll be using a sheet of MDF. This is about 12 mil. Hello, Peppa Pig. We're gonna glue this on. And then to the bandsaw. Looking good. A little rough around the edges, which we'll sand off later. We're just going to mark up the back piece. I'm sure, there's a better way of doing this. Now it's pretty close, but we can get a bit closer. So, we're going to mark up these edges just with a pencil. And then we'll recut on the bandsaw again, just to get it a bit closer. So you can see those pencil lines. We're just going to cut them away. Much better. We'll just sand it off to smooth things over. Now for the five holes. So we're using the punch just to help make the drill a little more accurate. And then we'll remove that template paper on top. So you've got a pretty good idea about what it's gonna look like now. So we'll put the roll in there just to work out the spacing between the two. So we're looking at about two and a half inches. I like to mix things up between inches and millimetres just to confuse things. We'll mark that up on a piece of scrap timber, which is roughly two by one inch. Then we'll just square that up, ready for cutting. And we're going to put this through on the bandsaw yet again. I love my bandsaw. So we've got three of those pine spaces. And then we'll put our back plate on top. So now you can see exactly what it's gonna look like when it's finished. Now we'll just drill the holes out to put it all together. And time for screwing. Looking good, and then like magic, it's time to start stacking on those toilet rolls. And then all that is left to do is paint it up to make it look pretty. Like magic. Like, comment, subscribe. Hope you enjoy.